TWR Saturday Tech Video. Topic today is equity versus fixed income. We're going to talk about which is better and the pros versus the cons. But first, we want to talk about our upcoming class. Our next class is going to be how to swing trade like a pro. Cost is $15 and every purchase receives a recording. Learn how to read multiple time frames, the best indicators to use, and how to choose the winners from the losers. Register today, traderswarroom.com slash upcoming classes. I'll see you there. First, we have to understand the difference. So when we're looking at equities, we have to understand that equities equal stocks. And when we're buying stocks, we're buying shares into a company. And that means we're trying to be an essentially an owner of that particular company. And we can also get equity when we join a new company as an employee. And, you know, we need to understand that when we're buying these shares, we have an ownership into the company of the shares that we're buying. And we need to understand that they don't offer fixed interest rates and this causes equity to be a little bit more volatile and higher risk than some other investments. So when we talk about fixed income investments, we're usually talking about things that pay a certain amount regularly. And also a lot of times when we talk about these, we're talking about the forms of like bonds and certificate of deposits and things of that nature. You've probably heard a lot of discussion about, you know, the 10 year note or the yields are spiking as the market has been volatile and coming back down. Well, that's because money is starting to rotate out of equities into fixed income investments. So now you have the understanding of what are these yields and why are they associated with my stock trading investments and stuff? Well, we're gonna talk about that here in a little bit, but you got a little bit of understanding when yields spike, that's usually because a rotation of money is coming out of equity into fixed income. In terms of fixed income, so the investor is buying debt. I need to highlight that, okay? You are buying debt of security and receives regular interest payments in return. Typically, the interest payments are made every six months, though there's a lot of different types of securities that you can buy on fixed income. You can get paid quarterly, monthly, even you can get certain ones that mature in certain years and stuff like that. Bonds come with maturity dates on which the principal is repaid to the investor. Fixed income are usually less risky investment strategies than equities and tend to have lower return rates as a result. But they tend to be less risky when investing in fixed income and that's why individuals like it, especially during volatility and unpredictable market conditions. Those seeking consistent returns, even as just a small part of their overall portfolio, often look to fixed income investments for reliable return. And that's what we are talking about currently and this is what we were talking about when we're seeing that big money rotating out of equity into fixed income, especially in a downward trending or a low sentiment of long investment market. So let's talk about some fixed income pros and cons. Some pros, regular interest payments, and they're less risky than equities. Some cons, they tend to have lower returns than equities, and some bonds, such as U.S. savings bonds and a few other, they can't be sold on an exchange. You have to go through a specific platform or site in order to get them. For more info on fixed income, specifically treasury bonds and U.S. savings bonds, you got to go to treasurydirect.gov if you want to do this electronically. Some brokers, you can purchase them through them as their, you know, financial brokers for these. However, if you want to do it online and get more information, definitely check out treasurydirect.gov. So equities, quite simply, they're shares in ownership of a company. So when a company offers equity, it's basically selling partial ownership of the company. On the other hand, when a company issues bond, it's really taking a loan out from the buyers because remember, you're buying the debt when you're buying bonds. Some good companies offer corporate bonds like Apple, Microsoft, Amazon, and basically if you're gonna buy the bond or buy their debt, you wanna make sure that the company is sound fundamentally and that in the future, they're going to grow and not bottom out basically. Equities also have their downside extreme volatility, especially in unpredictable market conditions, and these can cause the value of investment portfolios to, to shrink dramatically, especially when the economy is struggling, like currently. 
So other risks can also apply, such as companies being delisted from exchange, and you see this all the time in the penny stocks. And fun fact here, according to the report from McKinsey, the number of publicly traded companies in the U.S. dropped from about 5,500 in 2000 to around 4,000 in 2020. So that can kind of give you a perspective on not all the companies are great companies and a lot of them are going to fail. And so you wanna make sure you get into the ones that are going to succeed for the future or you ride the momentum and make the money and then get out. Big difference between trading and investing. We want to trade momentum to make money and we want to invest in quality. Big difference between trading and investing. The way I look at it is I trade momentum and I invest in quality or future potential. But equities are extremely popular and people invest in them because of potential for high returns. So in your investment portfolio, your equity exposure is just another way of basically describing your exposure to risk. So, you know, whether you're conservative, moderate, or you're extremely high risk, it definitely can be seen in your particular portfolio when you're specifically looking at equities. A basic rule of thumb is the younger you are, the more exposure that you can have to high risk and bounce back from potential downfalls. The older you are, the more conservative you are with investments because the likelihood of you having potential for bouncing back from extreme downward trends is not quite there because, you know, you're older. So, <laughs> so let's talk about some several benefits that cause investors to want to put money into equities. And some of them go from easily accessible to high reward potentials, but there are plenty of reasons and we're gonna talk about a few of them right now. So the big reasons why people love equities is because reward potential, right? Limited investment, huge payout. Also, some of your investments have dividend payouts, which the company gives you payments quarterly, monthly, so on and so forth from business profits. Also diversification. You can invest in a large number of equities from multiple industries and make money over a, a wide spectrum. And the accessibility, because there's so many different channels, it's extremely easy to invest when you're talking about equities. So the big one, pros versus cons, right? Pros can have huge returns. Some stocks pay regular dividends and common stock comes with voting rights because you own a part of the company. Cons, risk level extremely high. Many stocks don't pay the dividends and investors are to rely on stock price increases and performance. So when the market dumps, you lose money. When the market jumps, you make money. Now, let's talk about some of my favorites on both equities and fixed income. So I like to buy treasury bills and these are good because they range from four weeks to 52 weeks. So it gives you a broad range. And the thing I like about these is that you can kind of do like a rotation of bills and you get them at auction, of course. And then by the maturity date, you'll get your fixed income that you can hold or you can even sell it before it matures. Doing the electronic form, you can buy, like I said, in four to 52 weeks. I prefer the four week and the eight week ones. And of course, the minimum purchase is $100 and the interest is paid when the bill matures. Another fixed income I like is treasury notes. And I like these because these are shorter terms as well. You know, you can go from two to 10 years and the notes pay a fixed rate of interest every six months until they mature. And again, the ones I like are basically between the two and the five year and the rate is fixed at auction. It doesn't change over the life of the note. And the cool thing about it is they will never be less than 0 0.125. So it is relatively a safe investment because at the end of the day, it's going to make something, even if it doesn't make very much. But currently with the market taking a dump and people rolling into the yields, these things are at 10 to 15 year, we are once in a generation type of percentages. So it's extremely good opportunity to get into some of these fixed incomes currently. When we're putting our investment cap on and not our trading cap on, I like to invest in the big boys, the ones that are solid companies that are extremely beat up currently and have 
a great risk versus reward and bang for your buck in the long term. And here's some of them that are my favorite on a basic watch list that I have. And of course, you got the Apple, the Microsoft, the Amazon, the Tesla, XOM, and some of the other ones. But these are the ones that I really focus on when I'm investing into the big boys for potential growth, especially since some of these are beat up 50, 60, 70% from the peaks that we saw post pandemic. And now putting on the trading cap, I like to trade things usually off of potential rejection or reversals. And I love catching things that are beat up and have potential to spike from the bottom. So here's some of them, still the high volume, high market cap type of stocks that are out there. But these are some that have recently just bottomed out and I'll be looking on upward momentum to trade these particular stocks. And some of these still have more room that they can go down, but a lot of times you can see spikes from the bottom, even if it's still on a downward trajectory, you can get the spikes from the bottom and catch some of the momentum and you can make money going both ways. And I love trading momentum like this and this is my bread and butter. All right, that's the video guys. I hope you learned something. And as always, come check us out at traderswarroom.com. And right now, currently, take advantage of our birthday special. Yes, we are one year old. And I want you to join today and come trade with me on the platform. All access, $15 a month, all month of October. You get all the real-time alerts, all the live trading, all the algos, and so, so much more. Quit wasting that money that's not making money and come trade with the bulls at Traders War Room. I'll see you when that market bell rings. And don't forget about the class that we have coming up on 23 October. I want to train you on how to swing trade like a pro. So register today, traderswarroom.com slash upcoming classes.